So we know a lot about the field of family engagement now. We have been studying this for about 50 years, and we have a lot of information and data on the impact of family engagement on student outcomes. And these are just some of the things that we've learned. Students with involved families, they're more likely to earn higher grades and test scores. These are the kids that are enrolled in those higher level programs, so international baccalaureate, AP, honors, etc. They're promoted on time and they earn more credits. Now one of my jobs, if I told you how many jobs I've had, you'd probably want to know if I know what I want to be when I grow up. Um, I was admissions director, associate director of admissions at Trinity College in Hartford, and I used to talk to students all the time about why did they persist to graduation? Because some of you who know Trinity know it's a pretty highly selective liberal arts college, and I wanted to know why these kids thought they made it. Well, what they would say is their families really made a difference. And I noticed that some of the kids who didn't have families that knew the lay of the land in terms of what really counted towards the colleges were the kids who I'd look at their transcripts. They'd be terrific kids. I'd want to admit them, but they hadn't earned the right number of credits. They hadn't taken the right classes. So the kids who have engaged families have a tendency to know, their families know what I call that insider baseball knowledge that you need to know to get into school. All that stuff that Bridget put up when she did her wonderful presentation. These are also students who adapt better and they attend more regularly. You're going to see your attendance rates jump up when you have engaged families. They have better social skills and behaviors. One of my colleagues, Eileen Carver, who is a terrific teacher here in Boston, who actually is a wonderful, fantastic practitioner when it comes to engaging families. She and I actually are going to work on a book uh, for teachers on best practice and family engagement. She often says, you know, family engagement is one of the only strategies I need for classroom management. When my students know that I know grandpa, you know, grandma, auntie, uncle, and by the way, when I say family, I mean all of the above, not just biological parents. Uh, things change in terms of their attitude about school. And then finally, these are the kids that graduate and go on to post-secondary educational opportunities. So, you know, if we know that family engagement has such a great impact, then why don't we have more of it? Why has it been so hard to develop and sustain effective practice in this area? And that's what I study. I look at what works. I go around the country, I look at districts, I look at schools, I talk to parents, I talk to teachers, school leaders about, hey, what works when it comes to really cultivating those partnerships between home and school? What we figured out is that the main reason that we haven't really gotten anywhere is because people don't know how to do it. They want to. They say, you know, Karen, we really want to do better with engaging families. Families say, I'd love to be able to partner with schools, but we haven't built the capacity, the skills, the knowledge, the disposition for people to be able to do this work well. We tell people, go do it. Title I, go engage, be engaged, partner. But we don't teach anybody really how to do that. So that's the work that I'm doing now. So I'm going to let you in on some secrets about what we now know about effective practice. First of all, we know that it's got to be relational. Relationships matter. A lot of times we jump straight to the program, do this. But we haven't really gotten to know each other as people. And that's really important in districts where there's been a lot of distrust between home and school. And we have a lot of districts that are like that. So relational matters. You have to be intentional about creating those relationships. What else do we know? These interactions between home and school have to be interactive. And I'm going to do something interactive with you guys in a minute. Okay? Because we learn more when we get to get some dirt under our fingernails and do it together. What else? They have to be collaborative. And what I mean by collaborative is that we learn from each other. Because guess what? Families and communities have funds of knowledge that we need to be able to be better educators. So it can't just be the teachers talking at or the principals talking at the community. The families and community have stuff we need to know to do our job well. Developmental. It's a different lens when we're talking about building capacity versus providing a service. That's a different lens. 
If we're only going to provide services to families and not build their capacity, then nobody learns. Nobody grows. Teachers, principals, families don't grow. And finally, the title of my talk is linked to learning. This is one of the pieces that's so easy to fix, but we don't do. All of our family engagement practice should be linked to learning. Makes sense, but we don't do it. So I'm going to give you an example. How many of you have been to a school open house ever in your lives? Oh, a whole lot of you, right? And I bet you you just can't wait to turn off scandal to go to an open house. <laughs> I don't think so. And let's talk about why not, OK? So if I'm a parent and I'm going to an open house, what do I usually do first? Where do I go? Auditorium, right? Cafeteria. Who's talking to me? Principal. About what? Oh, rules. How exciting. <laughs> what kinds of rules? Attendance. Dress. Busing. Dress. Dress code. Discipline. OK. Sounds great, doesn't it? All right? OK, so do I get to talk? No. no. All right. Where am I going next? After we go to the auditorium, where am I going next? <laughs> Classroom. Who's talking to me now? Yeah. About what? More rules. <laughs> what kind of rules? Homework. <laughs> Behavior. OK? Do I get to learn as a parent a new tip or a tool? Or do I get to practice something that helps support my kids' learning? Not usually. Do the teachers get to hear from me about what I know about my kid that might help them be a better teacher to my child? No. So guess what? 15,000 or more of these open houses occur on any given night in the United States, and we blow it. We blow it because it's not linked to learning. Very simple idea, and I want you to repeat it with me. Ready? Linked to learning. That's my big idea. That's what I try to do, and I am on a personal quest to change every open house in this United States of America. Thank you.